take a look at the board behind me and notice the rhythm and the notes that I've chosen for us to play. So we are starting with E and then we get to our quarter note and it changes to D and then we slur E to D back in eighth notes. So I've drawn a line after the quarter note D to help us to remember to play it longer. So whenever you're examining a new measure, Try to find things that are different or when they change. Rhythmic changing to quarter note and then adding a slur. Let's try these notes together. Three and four and. Long slur. One more time and exaggerate the length of that quarter note. Three and four and. Now look at the rhythm on the bottom. So we start off with eighth notes, and then we have a half note, and that is worth four eighth notes. I wrote the counting of eighth notes underneath so you can see how four of them fit inside. So this is gonna feel really crazy long. And then we have a slur. Let's try this one. So it's one and two, three, four and, sorry about the singing. Just wanted to give you an idea. Here we are on the bottom rhythm. Three and four and. Two and three and slur. One more time. Three and four and. Two and three and. Now I'm going to add a tie. So we don't actually play two Ds. We're going to tie them together and it's going to be even longer. So now you see why I really wanted to write that eighth note counting so that you can continue that tied note. Let's try this together. Set up your E, three and four and, two and three and. Okay, it almost feels like you're making a mistake not playing this individual note, but it is now added to the value of that eighth note. One more time. Three and four and. And two and three and. Now we're ready to explore in the music. Find measure seven, and you'll find all of these rhythms that we just talked about in seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'd love to just play a little bit here, take about four measures of this and experiment. Here we are at seven. Three and four and. Do that again. You may have caught yourself playing the rhythm incorrectly. Three and four and. Long slur. Long slur. Three, four, one, tie, three, Take a look at the rhythm on the board, and you'll notice we have a dotted quarter note. And remember that gets one and a half counts, or 1.5 counts. So we have to subdivide and use one and two. So the number is the first half of the beat, and the and is the second half. So this is first half of one, second half of one, first half of two. And then here's the second half of two. So I also showed you that these quarter notes are the first and second half of that entire count, first and second half. So let's play this rhythm on our D string. Three and four and, one and two and three and four and. If you find that you went too quickly here, you may want to be thinking that three and four and. Let's try that again. 
three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's find this dotted quarter note in our music. So look for measure 13 and you'll see it right there. So let's play 13 and 14 together. Three and four and one and two, three, four, one, two, three and one more time. Three and four and one and two. Look at 15 and 16. Uses the dotted quarter note in 15, but then uses that tied rhythm we just practiced before in 16. Here we are at 15, and I recommend using a pinky violins. Three and four and one and two, three, four, one, tie, three and. Do that again. Use your pinky instead of E string. Three and four and one and two. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at 17 and 18. We've got the E string and this can be open E. And then we go to G natural, second finger. So here we are at 17 and 18. Three and four and one and two. One, two, three, four. So you have to keep track of that beat as you play. Here we are again at 17, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now let's explore 19 and 20. The dotted quarter note again. Three and four and one and two. One and. So every other measure is quite different. Let's do this again at 19. Three and four and one and two. One. One more time, using that pinky, three and four and one and two. Now look at 22. It's a quarter note D, followed by G natural slurred to F sharp. So all those E's can be open because we have um, notes that are higher than the E string in here. So let me demonstrate again. Long, G natural. Okay. Now let's try this together. 22, 3, 4, and natural. One more time. It might work well for you to set your high D and then pull your G natural finger back so it's ready for you to go. Three, four, and. Now let's back up to measure 21, that dotted quarter note, and get into it from there. Here's 21. Three, and four, and. One, and two. One more time. Three and four and one and two. Natural. Now let's play from 13 to 23. So we've got the dotted quarter note measure and then the measure in between that is a little different every single time. Then back to dotted quarter note measure and then something else unique. So try to look ahead to help you understand what's coming after the measure with the dotted quarter notes. Here we are at 13. Three and four and one and two. Long. One, two, three. Dotted quarter 
quarter note and two. Here's a tie. Two, three, one and two. One, two, three. One and two. One and. One and two. Natural. One more time back at 13. Three and four and one and two. One, two, three. One and two. One, two, three. One and two. One, two, three. One and two. Now we're going to play from 7 down to 23. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and... Thank you. 